Welcome back to Let's Play Control, Burning Dog fans. We're here in the containment wing, where the mold has taken root. Joy! Generating? No. Uh oh. And you do do it. All right, fine. I can't take that luxury. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think you just. Oh yeah, there's two guys in there. Ah! Oh, okay. There's spe it's a special kind. It's not just these guys who wander around. That would have been uh, bullshit, actually. Let's see. 18%. Oh, just compares them. It already compares them. Yeah, I don't need that. Damn. Wait, what's that down there? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Wrong, just, wrong, just wrong symbol. Although, speaking of which... We all know what I feel about that, don't we? Hello, I'm Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm going to pin you to a motherfucking wall. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. oh! That guy's gonna uh, snuck around me. Fuck! I knew that the uh, that damaged blue dude wasn't going to be able to take care of all of them, but fuck! Well, that was no fun. And it's going to drop me in the fucking control point, and all those rangers are going to pop back in. I will go uh, even more aggressive this time than I did in between episodes. So I am tired of feeling insufficient. I did forget that I uh, left that on. My, uh, I'll just put that on for a. Uh... Put that to good use somewhere else, would you? Oh, hey, perfect! Uh, fewer of them and no explodey guys this time. Do you mind? Oh, that music's cool. I kind of got a Terminator 1 vibe from that bit right there. The music, I mean. Uh, all those, like, bassy electric tones that sound weirdly ominous. I don't know. That description made perfect sense in my head. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get the sniper weapon out, but not until I get into the other room, so let's keep going. What do I have on there currently? Just more accurate. Okay. Uh. Okay, first things first. Fuck you guys. Oh, hey, I missed a lo lore. In particular, ruining everything last time. Second, mold autopsy. That's an interesting one. Compiled by Dr. Sue V. Patton, coroner, by order of Dr. Raya Underhill, contract threshold specialist. Yeah, that makes sense. The deceased was a redacted year old redacted, or, uh, oh, sorry, autopsy report subject redacted, uh, a redacted year old redacted with no significant past medical history. 
The subject is brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay. It is characteristically fungal-based in its appearance. During autopsy, the cadaver's pleural cavities are revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold. To an extent that medical staff are forced to put on decontamination suits. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably but not provably caused by trapped gases. Routine samples, as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill, were successfully extracted. However, their rat tr rapid retrogression outside of the host body needs to be noted. I'm going to go ahead and, uh... Oh, wrong buton. Damn it, phone. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, Google some of that stuff, because I don't actually know those, uh, terms. So first of all, let's see. Cause of death, mold, ingestion. Refer to file 5-94-2716 for, uh, full report. And, uh, let's see here. Where did it go? I don't actually know what retrogression means. It sounds like it just means decay, but... The process of returning into an earlier state, typically a worse one. A kind of extreme retrogression to 19th century attitudes. That's, uh, unpleasant. Let's see, and the other one was plural cavities, yes. How was that spelled? Where did it go? Ah, uh, yes. Plural cavity. The plural cavity is the space that lies between the pleura, the two thin membranes that line and surround the lungs. The pleural cavity contains a small amount of liquid known as pleural fluid, which provides lubrication as the lungs expand and contract during respiration. Yeah, it's not supposed to be full of mold. It's pro tip. Oh boy. What? Oh. That is really efficient, isn't it? And now I'll go ahead and get this out. Um... Okay. I couldn't, uh, mind control that one in particular for some reason. Even though we had less health than that one did. Just eat those dots. Well, can't see him. Terribly broken up by that guy getting killed. He's far, far more worse off than the, uh, than the hiss. Holy shit, I didn't even know there was a door there. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Well, that's a nice storage room. I guess it's storing the mold. God damn it! How are zombies smart enough not to just wander into my line of fire until I walk up to where they can vomit on me? of that, okay. Whenever I'm in a room like this, I find myself actually like, starting to hold my breath in real life. It's, oh, fuck this. I don't want to turn into a fucking inside-out fungus man. Leave my plural cavities the fuck alone, man. This, this I hate, right here. Like, I think, yeah, I think it's gonna be like a low thing like that, but it really looks like it's just growing down from the ceiling like that, doesn't it? Ah, uh, you be dead. Let's keep the shotgun at hand. You know, 
for close encounters. Jesus Christ. It's horrible in here. Recent invention, that. That's not a grenade at all. That's a wheel off of this thing. It's just not attached to the model. It's, yeah, these wheels are completely out of place for some reason. Let's pretend we didn't notice that and that I didn't draw massive attention to it. Stop that. was that? Whoa. I did not mean to do that. Uh, okay, where the fuck am I going? Over there. So that's that room I just checked out. So I guess I'm going in there. It's just an overly elaborate steampunk room where everything is unnecessarily uh, mechanical. You know, it's got like 12 different gears that open a great big door, and they're totally unnecessary. It just looks cool. Nope, nope. That's pretty fucking good. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go with the one that uh, consistently uh, causes more of a headache for the bad guys. On the right track. Ooh. Dylan Quest continues. I should call this a session, you know, Dylan Quest Part 1, Part 2, and so on. No, that's silly. Plus, if I actually called it that, I would never get the Brody Quest song out of my head. I blame myself for that. What the hell? Jesus, for a second I thought there was just a dude in here. Not like a bad guy, just a guy in a lab coat. Why was that so specific? Why is that there? Does it, like... Is the house forming, like, these crafting materials as, like, some kind of side effect? You know, is that it's, like, equivalent of sweating or going to the bathroom or something, and we can just collect them as useful resources? But is it, like, it always forms right here, so we've made a special containment box so it doesn't, you know, mess with anything around it. Oh, boy. I'll just go ahead and screenshot that, because this looks messed up. It's hard to read the green stuff. Let's see. Feel important? Feels important, an urgent vision. Writing this down so I don't forget. Saw this dream when I fell asleep during Dr. Darling's presentation. A food poisoning? I saw an inverted black pyramid. The board, the astral plane. Then a red pyramid appeared underneath. What's that? What's that? It felt scary and bad news. They moved to be on top of each other. Like elevator lights. Going up? Is this the sector elevator? Then... They connected, docked, clicked. Oh, click! Oh, shit! It's an hourglass! A doomsday clock? It started flashing wildly. Oh, jeez, my cables. The sand is... <clears throat> Sorry. Where was I? It's an hourglass, a doomsday clock. It started flashing wildly. The sand is leaking down. Oh, no! Felt terrible. Fuck. Fucking fuck. <laughs> now it's all down. Now it's all down, and the red on the top... This can't happen. We must stop this from happening. They rule us now. I woke up screaming. This is a warning. Oh, this is a warning. The other triangle, the up triangle, is the hiss. And it wants to be the down triangle, the one that has authority. It's a fucking hostile corporate takeover. Oh, 
So I want to have a direct connection to that Earth dimension. It looks fun. So screw you. I'm going to take all your toys away from you, whether you agree to help me or not. Hey, that's, that's a great sign right there. is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His oh. cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? That looked bad. I note, I really, really don't like that there's Panopticon, but it also specifically notes that that's where Dylan is. That's, uh, actually, that's really bad. Panopticon cells multiple breached security response en route. The name of that sound is Bang, Bang, Bang. Actually, no, I guess that one's more like a rat-a-tat-tat, but whatever. No! Ooh. Almost, no. That guy's just dead, that's weird. There's very few actual bodies here, except for some reason, that one invisible hiss. Is anyone else surprised no hiss appeared with that alarm? That was a shortcut, anyway. I feel like that was one of those, uh, Assassin's Creed 2 things. Perfect! A way back up if I fall. Well, they also did that in a bunch of the other ones, but I think Assassin's Creed 2 is the one where Ezio uh, called attention to it every single time it happened. Oh, it is this one. And it's better! No! God fucking damn it. Now I'm pissed off at myself. Ah! Shit. Ah, uh, fuck. So excited I held the wrong button. That button right there. Fuck. I am very unhappy. But I'm going to keep walking and try to distract myself so I do not explode. Eh, fuck that. I'm going to go get my brother. Oh, but if I go to the Prime Candidate program, it might help me understand what these monsters did to him. Command room? Well, it's gotta be badass. August 4th, 1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. Hmm. It's uh, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own. Seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints, and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's unstable. Shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated classified top secret operation so imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the bureau as a whole hmm. You've survived tougher, says my laws and Drapper. And you know what? That's true. I can deal with this. I 
I've faced boss fights that have literally made me tear my hair out. It's a randomly generated mod, and as you can see, we're going to keep finding them. I still want one of those cool, unique ones. No, I think it was a... Yeah, it was a level 4 over my level 3, and there, these seem to be uh, not completely uncommon. What is that? Oh. Well, this time I'm not going to make the same mistake. And it's this one that needs to die. These, hmm, these feel like they do opposite things. Interesting. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even catch that. Oh, and uh, I should uh, click on that to make sure you know we're all on the same page. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it, it, they all look like that. It's, all, it's not just an audio thing. Yes, good. Good. I really liked that random shot to uh, his assistants for like one second in the middle of that, by the way. It was kind of creepy. But in an amusing way. That's the same one. I just recognize that weird cut there. I can't believe they would move into this place uh, so quickly after discovering it. I mean, it sounds like it was a year, and even that, I mean... Oh boy. Moving into this place when you don't entirely understand its properties, that's crazy to me. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control when we read that uh, file and uh, find out what it might bring to light. Later!